Evening. Normally I wouldn't stream on Tuesdays, but we have a big video game conference. So, here I am. Pre-show starting in just under two minutes here. And who knows, maybe they'll show City of the Wolves during it, I don't know what. I've never watched a Gamescom stream, so... <clears throat> It's one of the silly little music. Damn! Togunatsu with the Prime, appreciate that, brother. I honestly have no idea if we're getting City of the Wolves here. I know we're getting Terry, but if City of the Wolves is somewhere, it's not going to be in the main event, right? It's going to be in the pre-show. If they show games in the pre-show. I don't know if this is like Game Awards. I've never watched Gamescom. I didn't even know that this was a Jeff Keighley event until this morning. So, yeah. I have no expectations for this. Here we go. <laughs> what is this song, bro? Welcome to the Gamescom opening night live pre-show. I'm Kyle Bossman, and I'm going to be teeing up trailers and building anticipation in these final few moments leading up to the big show itself, Gamescom opening night live 2024. Now, here's the weird thing about the pre-show this year. We have more games in this pre-show than ever before. Oh, yeah. So we got games. Brand new game announcements. Street Fighter 6 showed up for this. Oh. The pre-show is good. So let's get it started. We'll talk about Dave the Diver first, who's had some... Sorry, what? Unpredictable collaboration that was weird. That he just randomly named up Street Fighter. Let's see what Dave's into next. Okay. Weird. So Street Fighter is in the pre-show. Does that mean both things I give a shit about are going to be in the pre-show? Is there is there any point me watching the fucking actual thing? <laughs> Maybe I should have just done a pre-recorded reaction. Joining us here at the pre-show, you're still relatively early. You only missed one trailer so far. And our next one is for a brand new game in a storied franchise, well known for its depiction of long distance relationships. Desktop audio kinda low. Oh okay, yeah, I'll fix that. I I have the stream really low, so that's my bad. Hang on. Let me know how that is. And if it needs to go higher, it might need to. And they're desperate to turn the tide of war back in their favor. The French resistance <sighs> okay. rumor of a secret weapon so ruthless, so severe, it could make it sounds good, very nice. Reclaim France. This threat can't go ignored. It started, I can't tell because I'm at work and muted. Yeah, it started. Well, the pre-show started. But then I can't respond because you're muted. <laughs> Welcome back to the 
to the opening night live 2024 pre-show the main event is close oh, it will yeah have we get the big it wrong. games it will have the big game announcements but for now this pre-show is bustling along up next a brand new trailer for begone beast this guy's delivery is stilted as fuck this shit seems like it was slapped together last minute he seems really unsure of this <laughs> what <laughs> Let me just respond to Ranger just in case he's muted. Oh, I, I can't. I can't even respond to you. I'm not logged in on Streamlabs. I don't know why or how that works. But I literally can't type anything in chat. That's cool, isn't it? I don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm not even paying attention. I know what I I know what I'll look at. Handy. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair. You could play as an animal in a wheelchair. Okay. <laughs> what? This is the coolest game I've ever seen. Trust me on this. You're about to see the most thrilling trailer for a road building simulator you've ever seen in your life right now. What is with that? I don't know. I can't. When I was a kid, I'm... I couldn't wait to leave this town behind. These are so weird. What's that saying? Oops. Man plans and God laughs. Well, he must have had a good one on my account. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I messed up my stream maps. Hang on. Carried away everything we ever had. Let me put out my chat, you fucking thing. Reason to stay. Truth is, we can't stop what's coming. The important thing is that we rebuild. I messed up my Streamlabs window. Shit. Oh, that's here. better. <sighs> Video game. Bzz. I have a bit of a headache, I don't know why. I didn't even do anything today. I've been staying hydrated. It's not even that hot. Still have a fucking headache. It's annoying. And now you're about to see a couple of games that will make you say mm. What the fuck? I don't I don't know if I want to see a Seat of the Wolves trailer like with this guy doing a really stilted awkward transition into it. This isn't giving me new game plus expo vibes? Yeah. Jesus, man. That shit was terrible. We had massive Jack and Cokes and it was still boring. How do you even do that? How do you even make your video game expo boring to drink to? <laughs> oh god. I remember really thinking there was a chance that KOF 15 would be shown at that. Jesus. Oh. Terminator reference. Of war chases the scent, oblivious to the master's leash. True balance lies beyond the edge of a blade. What the fuck is happening? Do not take fix your trailer. For granted. I know I did. Well, 
When people expecting an SA1 remake to be shown or something? Yeah, that rings a bell. That sounds like the sort of rumor that Sonic fans would come up with. Hey, maybe we'll see the Sonic Heroes remake. You know what I'm actually kind of curious about? It's been a while since RE4 remake, so I wonder if we're going to get any news on Resident Evil. That would make that would make watching the main show worth it. But I don't know. I don't know if it's been long enough since Resident Evil 4 dropped for them to tease the next game. But I mean, they seem to be doing an every two years thing with Resident Evil, so... I don't know, maybe. But then they've got Monster Hunter, so maybe that's their big Capcom thing. Just show me Terrence. Cool, bro. So apparently, uh, just show Street Fighter. <laughs> because they, that random guy said, hey, Street Fighter's in the pre-show, bro. They got City of the Wolves in the pre-show? Come on. We all agree that this pre-show is going pretty good so far, but my primary duty here is to make you aware of and excited about the fact that opening night live is minutes away. So here they are, the top 10 reasons to look forward to Gamescom opening night live 2024. Number 10. You are a fucking weirdo. Look at Call of Duty Black Ops Street Fighter's guaranteed, yeah. Seat of the Wolves is probably Number happening nine, since it's playable at the actual Gamescom event. Gameplay of Dune Awakening. Can I be honest with you for a second? I didn't really get Dune until the second movie, and now I think Dune is cool. Number 8. The tinge of king-like power you feel when Dungeons This guy should not have agreed to this gig. Beg you, to wish list. you aren't him. Stop. Number seven reason to look forward to Gamescom Opening Night Live 2024. News from Marvel Rivals. Number six. Nudes from Marvel Jones Rivals. Great circle presentation. Because there's no way it's just another super long cutscene. At some point, they're going to have to show what it's like to play this game. Like, what button is the whip? Number five. Lol. The reveal of Tarsier Studios' next game. Here's the story with this one. So, Tarsier Studios, who made the Little Nightmares games, a few weeks ago, they put out this terrifying teaser with, like, this sliced-open giant happy pig, and then it just says, Worldwide Game Reveal, Gamescom ONL. And that makes me curious. I don't even know what this is. Number four reason to look forward to Gamescom opening Night Live 2024. 50-50 shot Sam Lake shows up. I don't think we're getting Seat of the Wolves. Just to be clear here, he is definitely seeing Street Fighter though. To appear, but I hope Kyle got paid well. This shit is excruciating. I kind of enjoy it. It's classic E3 cringe, right? Gameplay of Civilization 7. Number two. An update on Monster Hunter Wilds. Officially, we're just calling this an update. Kyle was probably no writing his suicide note talking. right now. I promise it's gonna be nice. And the number one reason to look forward to Gamescom opening night live 2024 Terry is... It is always nice to hear a room full of people cheer and be happy about video games. Well, sadly, that won't be happening. But before we can get to any of that, there's still plenty of pre-show to go. Next up, from the studio behind Fury and Haven... Oh, fuck you! ...a new trailer for Cairn. It's not called Fury, it's called Fatal. Idiot. Is this fatal? Fuck me. You, you were one word off, you cunt! <laughs> this guy sounds so bored. Yeah, he, he sounds like he's being held at gunpoint to record this cringe shit. <laughs> I'm glad to be watching it with the John Sex. What's up, Oscar Neo? Welcome to this thing. Filled with games we won't care about. I mean, the fact that Str I thought Street Fighter was definitely going to be in the main show, so the fact that it's in the pre-show, it's like, man, maybe I should just switch off after. He's too cool to play Fatal Fury. Yeah, if there's one thing about Kyle, it's that he's cool. That's what I've gathered from the uh, 15 minutes I've spent with him so far. Gamescom is so dead, I'm going to be honest, especially this year. Yeah, I've never watched it. I didn't even know this was like a thing. I thought it was just some random convention. 
I didn't know it had like a like a video show, like a press conference thing. Didn't know it was a Jeff this thing. Cool. You're gonna see a mysterious trailer for an unannounced game, and then immediately after that, I have an interview with that game's developer. So first, here's this. Well, I like your interviews, Kyle. If they're anything like your uh, narration in between trailers. Five days? Six? I need to get up. But no matter how much I sleep, I still feel tired. Me. Maybe it's because the nights here feel unsettling. The only thing that brings me a bit of comfort is that I'll never talk to another human being ever again. They made a game about me. I've decided that this abandoned farm will be the place where I die. I heard Hulk tomorrow was held hostage in Germany, is that right? At this that point, bro, we'll be lucky to get a City of the Wars trailer, How unfortunately. The time? But I mean, it was a Summer Games Fest, but like... Remember how short that Seat of the Wolves trailer was at GF's summer shebang? It was like a minute on the dot. Like the things you've lost. I've been there in 2022. I mean, they have a bunch of companies partnered and stuff. Neat, yeah. This this game is about my ideal neat life. We'll see what winter brings after the harvest. Now we have an interview with Recently, the guy that made I had this. the opportunity to talk to the solo developer behind We Harvest Shadows, David Whaley. What's up? Thanks for having me. It's a great honor. Heck yeah, we're happy to have you. How would you Heck label yeah. We Harvest Shadows? We Harvest Shadows is The best and most crowded booth there was the Sonic Frontiers one. Jesus. Allegory. And it's because I wanted How to do disappointed a lot of were the faces? With this game. I, I wanted to make a beautiful horror game. It's very personal, story-wise. I call it anti-cozy game, which you're probably wondering, how does that even work? I think a lot of us, we, you know, we had a hard time during the- I liked that shot of Kyle just gawking. That was good, that was necessary. Extremely cozy. Yes, yeah, extremely cozy. And I was like, I wonder if we can take this type of gameplay, which is relaxing- Do another one. It in an unusual way, to make a gameplay experience that's unlike anything else and so i want this game to be relaxing but i also want it to be terrifying so i think an interesting part Ugh, of that trailer is on. when you get your first objective on that notepad and it just says leave house which seems like a simple thing but i'm wondering in the game itself is it's going to be like a mechanically difficult thing to do uh you know i don't want to spoil anything but um the, in the trailer i wanted to show that the show this main character i've got nine minutes until the, the main event capacity is different and maybe can they can they squeeze in city of the walls and like, terry I can't leave the house what's the big deal but i i've had days like that my copus at nck tends to make their announcements at random events. events i mean maybe the fact that city of the walls is upcoming and unreleased maybe they'll put it in the main show maybe i've been there where leave house but to have street fighter in the pre-show and snk in the main show that seems mismatched Maybe I'm there just a hater. There's some hidden things in the trailer. Um, there might be like some, what? yeah, there might be some eagle-eyed viewers. But a big theme of the game is that he feel he wants to be alone forever, right? But he's actually Look, I'm sorry. at all times. I'm sorry to Kyle. So in the trailer, there's a lot of hidden and faces, Dave, scary things. But no one cares. So maybe people can go back and see if they can find them. David Whaley, thank you so much no for one, joining us. Have a great games. No thank one was so paying attention. Thanks again to David for taking the time to do this and bringing the vibes back up. And I think now is as good a time as any for a super scary trailer with biblical undertones. Okay. Uh, well, the guy, Kyle, said that Street Fighter was in the pre-show, which we've only got like eight minutes left of, so... There you go, and the Street Fighter gameplay trailers are usually about three minutes long-ish, so... It might be the one after this. It's, it's Kyle gonna be like, And now it's time for a trailer with Terry Bogart. Are you okay, Basta Wolf? LOL! Like a reference to the game, Terry Bogart. Fury. Right? Please tell me Kyle's gonna do a really forced Terry reference. 
Or maybe he'll just like hold his hands up at the camera and go, Hadouken! Street Fighted. I play Street Fighter. Hadouken! Anyway. Bastaga! Uh, I haven't fully beaten Frontiers, but... What the fuck is a Terry Burger? His name wasn't Ken? Is that Terry Burger from the Smash Broder? I'll be real, no one even knows that Terry is even in Smash. Next up is a trailer that works better if I don't even set it up. So here's a good trailer to watch. Stuck on a planet with nowhere to poop. The juiciest burgers in the galaxy. Burger Square. Swaggy Extreme Learning Smartbot from Hot Wheels. Radical. I smush it down my throat. Our new, new ding -dong. Greetings, brave explorer. We here at Alta Interglobal would like to welcome you. I to regret to inform you that John Six has just died. Of space. You've spent almost a century hurtling through the universe in cryosleep, ready to begin your work on this strange alien planet. Unfortunately, changing market conditions have led us to the realization that space exploration is far too companies trying to be devolvers so fucking hard. True. decided to cancel all future plans in space. I regret to inform you that you have therefore been made redundant. Your final check has been sent. We thank you for your service, and we hope you eventually find a way home. Good luck. I love the two visceral reactions of disgust from chat. What the fuck? The fuck is this shit? Accurate. What What did I just see? Oh, man. Hey, this game's got none of the stuff you dislike from the current industry. We're being so countercultural. Next up, we've got Enzoi, which is a new life sim game. It's like The Sims, but more beautiful. If you are interested in getting a head start on creating your characters, this next trailer is for you. I thought Street Fighter was in this pre show, Kyle. His name was Kyle, right? Oh, fuck's sake. This wouldn't be so bad, but I like, have a brewing headache. So it's just... It's getting excruciating. <laughs> I won't lie, this game looks sickage. I mean, it actually does look pretty good. It's just like ultra realistic Sims. That's weird. We didn't have a Kyle transition for this. We just suddenly started playing a trailer. This is where they'll put Seat of the Wolves. In the so obscure that Kyle doesn't even have any words to say about it. Kyle got fired due to monotony. Yeah, after all the live feedback from chats, Kyle has been- all of Kyle's parts have been cut out of the pre-show. <laughs> They are live editing to remove Kyle. Any signs of Kyle? Hashtag free Kyle. <laughs> He's trapped. They put him in the void. He's in a perpetual state of falling now. 
Welcome back to the Gamescom Opening Night Live 2024 pre-show where we are getting people excited for a big night of video game trailers by showing you more and more game trailers. And next up is another brand new game announcement. What the fuck? He lied. There's no Street Fighter. He lied. Unless she's in Street Fighter, are you in? The main show starts in three minutes. He lied. He said the pre-show would have Street Fighter. I have, I have video evidence. The VOD will be saved, Kyle. Shit's coming, Kyle. I'm bringing hell with me. Ultra realistic face moment. Oh my god, two. They had to ruin the trailer with a white person. <laughs> Dead space at home. <laughs> this might be hard for you to believe, but we have just one trailer left in this pre-show. You might remember, back at Summer Game Fest, Capcom announced Here we that go. Terry Bogard would be joining Season 2 of Street Fighter 6. Hasn't got a minute and a half trailer? Last month at EVO, we all got to see what his in-game character model looks like. But tonight, now, in this moment, Terry's about to power dunk all- I FUCKING CALLED IT! I KNEW HE'D DO IT! Six, Terry Bogard, I TOLD YOU KYLE WOULD MAKE A REFERENCE TO TERRY! Here we go. Pow Pow Cafe 6. Oh my god, bro, yes! I've waited so long for this fucking thing. Okay. Oh, that's a new, that's a new Terry thing. Here we go! There's our boy. He moves so fluidly. <laughs> It's so weird seeing Terry at this fucking frame rate. Oh man. What the fuck is this? Ultra Rising? Whoa, he did a he did a geyser in the air. Fucking sick, bro. What the fuck? That's it for the pre-show. Gamescom opening night live. What was that? He did- he rising tackled your shit into the air and did, did a geyser into your stomach? And that wind pose? Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks Kyle, mate. Holy shit. He- he looked... Really like... Um... He, his moveset was so Please fluid. your host. The creator of the Game Awards, Fuck off, Jeff. We just saw Jeff Terry. Keely. Oh man, I want to see. I want to watch it. I want to go th uh, frame by frame. What sucks is though, all the gameplay trailers for Street Fighter usually have like a uh, like a world tour cutscene section at the start. Maybe they'll do an extended cut on YouTube. Oh god, now I have to sit through like fucking two hours of shit I don't Good care about. Robin, Gamescom! And hello to everyone watching around the world. This is opening night live from beautiful Cologne, Germany. I want Kyle to present opening night live. I want Kyle to present Saturday night live. Here at Cologne Messe, over 5,000 people together as a community to celebrate our love of games. And of course, millions of you watching online around the world. Do we have the HD trailer well, up? We have gathered for the grand kickoff to Gamescom, the world's biggest in-person video game event. And this is our sixth opening night live. Now tonight, for the first time, we have a live sign language stream of ONL to make the short show even more accessible. Thank you to Kaborski, who's signing the show right now. Thank you, Kaborski. Now, while the game industry certainly has faced challenges this year, I know that ONL yeah, the trail is up. excited about what's to come later this year and in 2025 and beyond. Now, over the next two hours, you're going to see world premieres. From okay, if there's a boring gaming trailer, small, which will def there'll definitely be a lot of, we can use that time to rewatch the Terry trailer. Some surprises, so get ready. From Monster Hunter to Indiana Jones, Dune to Civilization, Call of Duty to Marvel Rivals, 
the most anticipated games will be on stage tonight because they wanted to be here with you guys at Gamescom. And I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity to present these games to you. So Gamescom, Sensi Variety for the world premiere. Yeah, bro. I tried it. All right, here's our first world premiere, a brand new game announcement. This one hasn't leaked and it's exclusive right here at ONL. Oh, fuck off. I can't even like kill that bot. Whoops. I'm just gonna have to leave him there. I have no mods in chat either. And I can't like mod anyone on the fly. Actually, can I? No, I can't. Ugh. This doesn't look like anything. Say Borderlands? Doesn't Borderlands usually have that like cell shaded style? Oh, it's Borderlands. <laughs> oh shit! Borderlands 4. Wow. <laughs> so it's like super realistic art style now. That's a pretty strong thing to start on. There you go! Fuck All me right. in the That's anus. right, Borderlands 4 <laughs> is coming in 2025. Next up, October 25th marks the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And now we're instant Call of Duty. The campaign gameplay. Please welcome John Zuck and Katherine Anderson from Raven Software. Okay, so in that time. Black Ops returns with an epic story. So cool. Anyway. Oh yeah, we got a full... Right? Is this it? It's in Japanese, but... <laughs> Look at this dude. Come on, bro. It's John Street's first Terry. <laughs> My guy, bro! My guy! <laughs> That guy, that was, um, the guy from the original Street Fighter 2 intro. Do we have the, do we have the English trailer? Whatever. Was he fighting Ken? Yeah, he was fighting Ken. I wasn't even paying attention to who he was fighting. Oh, uh, we got Joe. And Mary. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Dude, the, the, the full Avatar costumes. And look, it looks like there's... Oh, no, these aren't even the Avatar costumes. These are straight up, like, stage... Oh, I, I can't even tell. Dude, these look sick, though. Imagine if they give us these hairstyles for the fucking things. Where's Andy, though? And... Andu? Sandy dead? Hang on, let's just check on this real quick. Is this still is this still Black Ops? I don't I don't think I need to watch this. TBH. Back to Terry. He's got round wave. Where's Sandy? This is sick. Alright! <laughs> oh, that was sick. Dude, he jumps into his jacket! Fucking hell! Oh. Oh, they cooked. Oh, 
I guess Andy's gonna be in my stage. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? Oh, this is sick. I love this. Dude, I just realized what it- Oh my god, I just realized what Terry fucking did. I just realized what Terry fucking did. He did this shit from the first OVA when he first uses the uh, hurricane punch. He does- he does this exact shit. Exactly like that, and I guess that's like him doing it here. Fucking hell! Oh man. Oh, this is my guy, bro. What is that wind pose? How the fuck? Oh, they cooked. Okay, nothing from Jeff. Let's see if we can get the, um... See if we can get the uh, English trailer. Let's check Street Fighter's account. Yeah, boom, we got it. Yeah, that's a reference to the Street Fighter 2 opening where those two guys are fighting. Oops, wrong one. This is gonna be fun. And this is a reference to fucking Fatal Fury 1 where he where he looks up at the poster. He's he's even got his bag. This is new places, experiencing new things, meeting new faces, having good fights. Hell yeah, bro. Drink, eat, sleep, repeat. Drink, <laughs> eat, sleep, repeat. I'll pick up the check. Giuseppe Jojo, thanks for the follow, bro. I'm just in time for Terrence now. We're re we're rewatching the trailer because they're just showing Black Ops right now. <laughs> Sick, bro. Oh god, I have a headache, but I am enjoying this. Hang on, what was that? I mean, I know it wasn't, that kind of reminds me of Fire Kick. It was more like a, uh, a target combo. But it's very similar to how Fire Kick works from like, or looks from real well. What have we got, Jeff? Still showing this shit. <laughs> I love it, he fucking offers to pick you back up. This is so awesome. This is his uh, Seat of the Wolves video, yeah. That's right. Let's check on this again. Nothing. His face is definitely based on KOF 15. He looks like a really realistic version of how he looked in that game. Whereas I think in Seat of the Wolves, he looks like how he did in KOF 14. It's like, Terry's got two faces at the moment. I'll be real, that, that Buster Wolf is missing some impact. It looks, it looks like it's going in slow motion. So, uh, Seat of the Wolves, don't worry, you're not the only one for a weak Buster Wolf. That's sick, though. They say, damn, baby! <laughs> Sick. Back to this shit for a bit. Just like that, huh? Just like that. I, 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 yeah. Ever do anything like this before? No. But I don't see any better options. Can I rewatch the Terry trailer again? <laughs> Is this still cooler, do we?
I, I think so. Jeff said he was showing Call of Duty, and then we switched over to Terry. Is this what Call of Duty is like now? It's, it's uh... yeah, this is still Call of Duty. What if instead of Call of Duty, it was cock and booty? <laughs> Yeah, it's Black Ops 6. That was a long trailer, but I appreciate it. That let us look at the whole Terry thing like twice. Three times, even. There you go, Black Ops 6. More coming at Call of Duty next. And now I'm honored to introduce my co host for Opening Night Live. You know Terry Bogart. Years of hosting League of Legends esports around the world. Did you know that she got her start as a competitive Unreal Tournament player? That's right, please join me in welcoming to ONL, Shox! And hello, Gamescom. Thank you for the warm welcome, Unreal Tournament. That is uh, quite the throwback, but I am so excited to be here tonight revealing yeah, many of the games on opening night Deep live and Porter. highlighting events happening during this Gamescom. Her second name is Deep Porter? Gamescom really is the best week for games worldwide. Oh god, I have such a headache. I'm, I'm gonna have to so skip gym at this rate. I have work at 5 a.m. If I don't sleep, I'll have the now, headache. It is my Fuck. pleasure to share a message from Gamescom to you, our gaming community. Bollocks. Dear future me, I hope you are happy. I hope you visit wonderful places, that you have friends from places far away. And that you always have the best adventures. That you fight for the things you love. And that you love the things you do. Dear future me, my favorite thing in the world is to play. Do you like to play too? Yes, the future is here and we are ready to play. Let's take a look at this fun trailer. What is this? His favorite thing in the world. <laughs> ah, this is scary as fuck. Grim. What is this, bro? Video game Infinity War. <laughs> I like this trailer. I don't know what it is though, is it a remake of a game? Something new? Now this looks like Devolver, yeah. Goat Sim? What? This is the trailer for Goat Simulator? Like a sequel to it? I need to lay down for this shit. I'm tired, bro. Yeah, you're right. How did you know? Before the goat hooves. Oh, that sound effect, bro. I don't even know what to say, bro. Of all remasters. Okay, okay. Well, um, <laughs> we are Ego brains. Thanks for the follow. Did I also get another follow and I didn't shout it out? But if you cannot no, be I did. Here with us, 
Don't worry, you can join us virtually by going to Gamescom Global, where global All that intrigue for nothing, I know, right? Could have just been a PNG. Every game announcement could just be a, a JPEG. And it'd be easier. With all day coverage of the event, so tune in to Gamescom Studios broadcast by IGN on Twitch or on That can Joe laugh is the only thing I heard off now, that remark from the speaker. Some news on Persona 3 Reload and its next DLC episode I Persona 3? Coming on September 10th. It's time to reveal a surprising boss fight coming to the game. Tomorrow and all the days after it will be March 31st. Is this out? Or is this not out? <laughs> There that is the question. Between all of you and what's happening. Let's just open it. Then we'll know. Something's wrong. Huh? Ravage them. you never see it. That's Persona 5, dummy. Who is it after us? Persona. Wrong one. Huh? Old Joker fun there. All right. Shut up, Next Jeff. Up, we have another new game announcement for you right here, exclusively at Gamescom Opening Night Live. Mm, I've already lost interest. The tracks lead this way. It's close. This is the coolest game ever. Every man has an animal within. Roger Craig Smith? Push too much. It's Chris Redfield. This is Resident Evil 9. <laughs> See, Chris has a sword now. So guys, we did it. Chris is gonna decapitate Leon with a sword if he doesn't fuck Claire soon. There you go, Kyle Crane is back in a new zombie adventure set in the Dying Light world with 20 hours of gameplay, a new open world region, and more in Dying Light, The Beast. Next, today marks the launch for the most wish-listed game right now on Steam, and also, last I checked, the biggest single-player game ever on Steam with over 2 million concurrent players today, Black Myth Wukong from Game Science in China, which is also out on the PlayStation 5, and right now we've got the reveal of the launch trailer for you. How have I never heard of, like, the most popular game ever? Am I just that out of touch? Do we 100% know if there's going to be anything to see the wolves? No. All we know is that it's playable at the event. But after all the other, like, trailers we've gotten at press releases, it, uh, it seems... It'd, it'd be strange if they didn't show. If they didn't have a trailer, right? 
But if it's not in the show, maybe they'll shadow drop something. I don't know. I want to watch the Terry trailer again. Oh, fuck. I mean, I'll take a my trailer. It's <laughs> the uh, new Dragon Ball fighting game that people are like hella hype over. Any Dragon Ball heads in chat? See, this is one of those trailers that they like. They just immediately play after another one. So maybe they'll do a City of the Wolves reveal like that. Any ball draggers in chat? Sound like that in Japanese. Seriously, that's how Goku sounds in Japanese. It's a bit high pitched, isn't it? Welcome back. What happened to him? Opening night live here in beautiful Wargok. Who's ready to run? Live from the Construct Coliseum, it's time for everyone's favorite game. Jeff Keighley, if he was cartoons. We joined recently kidnapped celebrity guest contender Jeff Keighley at the starting line. Wait, starting line? And that battle cry proves how committed... Goku, Gohan, and Goten are voiced by the same granny? Really, that's strange. Jeff Keighley, if he was a shitty family guy clone. Everything of these contenders, but the JK machine is leading the way to the finish line. And the chat is blowing. What is all this? Death traps, unapproved nicknames, and a giant horse trying to hoof me? An eloquent and marketing friendly decision. That's why they had to get a voice actor. They couldn't get Jeff Keighley to actually say that. Time transition to the world premiere trailer for King of Meat. Ready for action? Ready for mayhem? Ready for gold and fame pouring from the sky? Challenges from the most twisted minds of the most ghoulish dungeon creators are transformed into monstrous reality. It's like a nightmare in dungeon form. I like the aesthetic of this, but I, I, I'm sick of these kind of looking graphics. Could you imagine this exact aesthetic, but with like PS2 era graphics? I thought the game would be a lot more appealing. There's something about this visual. Yeah. This is of yeah. Full guys for forty year olds. Still got it, Keely. Still got Oh. Yeah, he died! There you go. Welcome back to Opening Night Live. Oh, no, Real back. this time, and that was the announcement of King of Meat. An online co-op spectacle for one to four players from Glowmade, Guilford, England, and Amazon Games for console and PC. And you can sign up at kingofmeat.com for future playtests. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about making these shows is that we get to introduce you to brand new games and teams, like this one. To reveal their first game from their new studio, FuzzyBot, please welcome Tatanya Dislova and Max Oh, Spielberg. you fucked up, Jeff. He's gonna go backstage and slit his wrists. Hello? See, fuck that up. Max? He ruined his perfect Guys, take. Welcome to ONL. I'm very excited to share this game with the world. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your studio, first of all? Yeah, well, first off, it's. Hey, I'm Terry. To be here right now. Uh, we started the studio back in 2020, and the majority of us had um, come from the AAA side of the industry. And at the time, we were just thrilled. His star is at a slight and angle. It's like the real belt logo. So you fight Terry right in the square. That's interesting. The vision for our studio started with the idea of dreaming big and building smart. The concept for our first game, even early on, felt very unique and full of heart, and this helped us bring together a very passionate team of talented developers. It's through their skill. I'm sorry, I'm watching the Terry trailer, but I was waiting for this for three weeks. I'm not. I'm not looking at this. Way beyond where we thought we'd be. 
Well, I got to play this a few months ago with you guys. I had a ton of fun. Tell us a bit about your game, Linked. Yeah, so our debut game is called Linked Banner of the Spark. It's a co-op action hack and slash with a bit of roguelite town building. Joe Higashi so in the building. Together to create this cozy yet highly Dude, that's so sick the way he grabs the hat. To brawl, build, and befriend a crew of adorable robots. I love that. In it, it's the year 3000, and you're going to take on the role as one of the last remaining humans on planet Earth. Allying with a friendly bot He's so action, wide. You're going to aim to take down the combat army hell-bent on organic destruction. Players can play alone or with friends in this vibrant world of robots. Or a simpler way that I like to describe it sometimes. Has Terry is, ever had you this? Go out and fight the evil robots, I don't recognize that from anything. To build a sustainable town of your dreams while saving His throw looks so you sick. He grabs you by the back of the neck. <laughs> oh my god. The delightful world of Link's Banner of the Spark. And we hope the players get as much joy out of playing it as we have <laughs> building it. Well, we're very excited to show up for, to the world for the first time. Jeff, Let's stop fucking up your lines. World premiere reveal trailer. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no. You know what I'll do? I'll have the Terry trailer play yeah. so I can like fully take in everything. Oh my god, bro. What is that? Wow, what is that? Is that like, it looks like a lane switch. I mean, obviously he doesn't have a lane switch mechanic, but like, is that a follow-up after that specific normal? Like, what is that? <laughs> that kick is straight out of uh, Smash. Well, that was a bit weird. Oh, never mind. It was normal. His hand looked a bit weird to me. Well, I think we can all agree on this fact. Fishing makes every video game better. Now, one of the things that I love about Gamescom is that it is a safe place for our diverse gaming family. Oh, and yeah. I gotta watch this. Gamescom Cares that sh shares social and environmental... Everyone's flubbing their lines. ...that we care deeply. I don't Thanks care. Thanks to all of our partners who helped to make this happen. You can learn more by scanning the QR code below. And now, the first look at the gameplay of Lost Records, Bloom and Rage. A narrative adventure from the creative minds behind Life is Strange. Does anyone care about this? Chat, let me know if you care. Do you guys care? Or can we go back to watching Terry? Honestly, Swan, I'm glad, but slightly surprised that you showed up tonight. When I saw your text, my negative care, Terry. All in favor of continuing watching the Terry trailer in slow mo? She actually showed. Welcome. I remember. Yeah, I think I've had about enough of this. Here we go. We're back. We're gonna we're gonna make it go even slower. You were the coolest. Skateboarder's wisdom. Never land on your wrist. I want to see you skateboard, Autumn. I remembered Cat. Whoa, watch out! She was like a firecracker. Ah! Oh! <laughs> this this fucking audio over the Terry Bogle trailer. How about Bloom and Rage? How could I forget? Last week, my mom found a package on her doorstep. Wait, are Bloom and Rage? This is making the Terry Shore so freaking epic sounding. Are we in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sound effects. Are they showing something there? 
they are. Timing is perfection. Just the church bell ringing while Terry stands and beckons you forward. Oh, I'm laying down, bro. Jeff, you've reduced me to recline in my chair. I'm so bored and you won't even trust seat of the walls, bro. Oh. didn't even have the I was I, I like opened my mouth to make the joke and then I spurred you all a game looks great it's a uh, new look at the eight player co-op of no more room in hell 2 from torn banner up I'm literally Canada, fall asleep where there are deadly consequences of not sticking close to your teammates and I cannot wait to check that one out all right our next game uh, it's been a long time coming for this next one at the game awards in 2021 embark studios revealed arc Raiders a game that immediately <sighs> struck a chord with players around the globe a stunning future Earth where menacing arc machines threaten humanity's attempts. The game to looks build. great. Well, arc Raiders has evolved a lot since then, and now it's finally time for some news. Are you not convinced by Jeff's performance here? Action survival shooter. I think he's doing a great job. Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, where do we go now? Sorry, that triggered me. I came back, what did I miss? Well, we watched the Terry Bogard trailer in slow-mo a bit while Life is Strange was happening. And I think we'll be ignoring this as well and, and watching Terry. Should we go back to Terry? I don't think anyone knows or cares what this is. Everything to lose. Yeah, okay, we're back. But even more to gain. What the fuck was that color? It looks so strange. <laughs> His hat, no. Oh, we got something new. I kind of immediately regret. Uh, this is one of those games that like really weird high school girls play. So the entire audience at opening night live are seeing this as well, right? What do you think? Can we get like a shot of- can we get like a uh... Um... What? Is this like, gay Final Fantasy? Pokemon! What would Terry's third outfit be? I don't know, maybe they'll come up with something original. That'd be- that'd be neat. Something new. Gay Final Fantasy is redundant. I was gonna make that joke, but I decided against it. <laughs> it's gotcha shit, they showed it on my wall, really. Space Marine? Huh. I've been blown. They're just like doing like a quick a sizzle reel. Maybe see if the horse will show up. 
Yeah, that was a really short trailer. Am I gonna get fucking DMCA'd for this song? This sounds like something copyrighted. Alright, let's go back. Whenever it gets boring, we're going back to Terry. I will be watching this trailer frame by frame later. He's got so much personality. It is, it is a shame he is a little bit ugly. In some shots, I really like how he looks. In some shots, he looks weird. In, in shots like this, I really like how he looks, to be honest. I'm gay and like how a man looks. We'll get one second mine, that'll be it. It's not a modern day Terry of Bogart if it's not 2% Uggs. So if my voice sounds fucked up by the way, I'm not actually speaking into the mic. I'm laying down really weirdly because this is boring. Yeah, I mean, unironically, I prefer right there, Terry to be, you know... Well, I, I like Street Fighter 6 in general because, like, every character has, like, little imperfections. They aren't all, like, cookie-cutter, perfect anime... Next up, Looking characters. Yeah, they they can't decide how Terry. Well, in general, they can't decide on how Terry should look. My son, are you clear of mind and stout of heart? I need a kiss. I am. Oh fuck. Are you ready to sacrifice? Sacrifice everything to become the savior. I will. Do you have the strength to sweep aside this world and build it anew? I must. I thought that was going to be like a gag for a second. I thought it was going to cut to a joke. Are you ready to fulfill your destiny? Yes, I am ready. Well, that looks absolutely great. Can't wait for that one. And now, Gamescom is known for the cosplay. The vision and dedication cosplayers put into their craft is an inspiration to us all. And to see these amazing cosplayer cosplayers, you can tune in Stop to the Stop fucking World up! Saturday, August 24th at 5 p.m. And if you're- The audience is silent. Yeah, was that, was that applause or was it just raining outside? Gamescom in our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. Enjoy exclusive announcements and interviews all packed into an exciting one-hour show hosted by Shay Thompson. Plus, the Gamescom event arena, that is where I am standing right now and all of you are. It is the biggest and most elaborate stage at Gamecom, fu Gamescom, featuring not Oh, only yeah, bastard. It's just, the, it's like the E3 the of old. Gaming events and esports competitions. But like, less, less in person cringe. By tuning in online. Now, up next is a first look at the gameplay of June Awakening. The open world survival. There you go, yeah. She actually got a cheer. News on when it's going to be released. You can kill E3, but you can't kill the cringe spirit of E3. Does anyone care about Dune? Can we. Uh, fuck, I'm tired, bro. I'm oh, really yes. tired. I want to get to bed and go to sleep. I've not even been up for that long. I got up at 11. As a nameless prisoner. Like Dune? Okay, I'll keep the trailer on for you, bro. Your 
crash into the planet. You are abandoned and alone. Hunted by sandworms. Scorched by the unforgiving sun. Ravaged by sunstroke. Stick to the shade. Chase the moving shadows. Survive. Welcome to Arrakis, the most dangerous planet in the universe. Meet hundreds of other players in the vast online world. Befriend or betray those you meet. Form a wary alliance, in this case, a spit dart rifle and a still suit for your help taking down territorial deserters. Working Who is adding me? Always increase your chance oh, it's of staying okay. alive. The deserter base. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. And prepare for uh, official SNK uh, Discord server put out a um, an at everyone for for the uh, Terry trailer, and the caption is Gamescom's first SNK related reveal is here. Does that confirm City of the Wolves? I think that does. I don't know if it's going to be in this show or if they're going to do some gay shit and leave it for later because it's a five day event or something, but. Hang on. Nothing of value Might not be over, guys. Might not be over. Mine, harvest, and gather with your group to build bases and unlock more advanced equipment, like the blood purifier. Refine the blood you collected from your enemies to extract drinkable water. Craft improved equipment using fabricators. Replicate your bases in new locations with the blueprints. Terry is so cool. And then sell blueprints of your architectural wonders to other players. Lead your group. Yeah, we gotta watch to more. Guild. On Arrakis, a nameless prisoner can rise, construct an ornithopter, and take to the air. The world is yours to claim. This is Dune Man Keith Filari reminding you today of Return of the Four Spies Lord. Terry's fucking SF6 renders look so sick, bro. Map the desert. Discover landmarks, wrecked ships, and desert testing stations. Oh, his render is sick! Arrakis is a vast planet. You can explore unique locations, uncover valuable resources. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day once this shit is over. First of all, uploading my reaction to Terry, <coughs> and then um, and then, and then watching everyone else's. Turn to civilization triumphant with what you found. Harco Village throngs with people: spice traders, guild bankers, smugglers, house envoys, and of course, other players. Here, you will pledge allegiance to one of the great houses of June. Oh, they fucked up. But remember, the Street Fighter made a typo in Terry's thing. You need power. And on Arrakis, F Terry from Fatal Fury will show he's Bark, Bite, and Rising Fang. They haven't deleted it yet. It's been 45 minutes. Guys, get on that. Hey, what's up, Aura? At work right now, that's rough. Has the potential to become a heated battle. Yes, it's a Tuesday during the day for Americans, so we rule at work, unfortunately. Those who understand desert power can awaken Arrakis itself. I want to go back to Terry's trailer again. <laughs> Show City there was you bastard. Well, uh, you can't have a June game without the sandworms, and the sandworm summoning begins when June Awakening drops on PC early 2025. So the wait is not that long. And now, here is a reveal of a new game from Tarsier Studios, the creators of Little Nightmares 1 and 2.
can last forever. Win pose, bro. Wait, what's this? I was, I literally stopped paying attention, I'm sorry. No worries, someone to listen what, to Rio. while it works. It works out for me. Sorry, I've literally. I'm. Cozy game genre. Oh, more cozy games, guys. Sorry, no, I like I started scrolling Twitter. I I forgot that I've been completely silent for like the past Wars? three minutes. Well, meet Effie, the robot on our website RPG Gamescom Epic. Do you guys think I have time for a quick piss? Tricky puzzles, win prizes, gather trading cards, digital trading cards, and jump from level to level until. Sorry, I forgot I was streaming. Scan the QR code below. Props won't miss much. Can begin. Now in its fourth year as an evolving open world adventure, today Genshin Impact is Right, piss time. Piss break. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come, let's go. Let's go. Which will be released on August 28th. And we also have some news about when the game will be coming to Xbox. Yeah, we ain't miss shit, bruv. Local streamer forgets he's live with Boom Scores Twitter. Yeah. I mean, if anything's gonna do it to me, it's fucking Jeff Keighley's games con. Oh, I have a headache, bro. Why? How did I get a headache? I don't get it. I think it's because I didn't eat at lunch time. I, I ate late. Let's get back to it. Back to the important stuff. Wait, I just realized the little scrolling text there. Hang on, what are they there showing you now? And also it's, uh, it's from Fatal Fury. All right. Now it's time to head into the wilds of Monster Hunter. All right, Monster Hunter. Fans for the first time here at Gamescom, Capcom has an incredible booth. But now to tell us more and show us more, please welcome to the Gamescom ONL stage, Ryozo Tujimoto from Capcom. Ryozo-san. I, mean, I don't know shit about Monster Hunter, but I know this is something people might actually care about, so... Hello to all of my friends in Germany wow. and to the millions watching... He's a go in English. I'm really thankful that Jeff has invited me to the opening night live stage so I can share a new Monster Hunter... FGC Retirement Game number 5. え、今回ですね。えっと、ゲームズコンでは、え、初のプレイヤブル出展も行っています。え、今後ですね、世界のえ、いろんな様々な地域で、え、このようなプレイヤブルの出展も、え、考えていますので、そちらも期待していただけた
Now, let's take a look at the new latest trailer. My word, is this a Lala Barina for it? The crowd showed emotion for once, yeah. New Spider Monster. This time of year. Like a it's a shame Tori's not here. She knows about Monster Hunter. From the look of it, that must be this region's apex predator. Guild permission granted. Begin the hunt. Understood. Sorry, I'm scrolling Twitter again, my bad. His Garrow costume looks so sick. I'm not being dismissive of Monster Hunter, I just I just don't play it, so I don't know shit. <laughs> Man, get that pepper off there! Man, I don't even want to see this no more. Danger lies at every turn. Treasure secrets. Destiny. Everything lost is meant to be found. Oh, 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 there she is, my. You got a cool design? What have you got? Want a little taste of Shiranui fire? Okay. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> What is this? so she's got like a biker thing going on. Dude, people were saying they wanted this. Wow, kinda cool. Alright. Whoa. And we got we got fucking old costumes and see the walls, baby. Show more. Oh dude, SNK is woke as shit, bro, by the way. SNK woke as shit, by the way. Season pass, okay, DLC confirmed. Yeah! I mean, it literally just looks like how he does in KOF, but... Actual... Cool, can we stop now? That's good. I, I was just like scrolling to it and then suddenly my Shiranui shows up. Wow. We got classic Terry costume as well. Can we get- I, I really want classic costumes for the whole cast, please. Now we can stop watching.
That was a new look at Mecha Break, the multiplayer mech game. Okay, next we have something exciting for fans of Monument Valley, the beautiful twisted puzzle game that we all played about a decade ago. Dude, Terry's fucking um. Well, tonight we are revealing his Monument classic costume Valley has a three, coming later this year, a robot logo on it for some reason. I played this. It's kind of disappointing they're making it DLC. Well, I mean, not that the. Right oh, I mean, it is dis disappointing they're making it DLC. Just like a pre-order bonus, I guess. Early access, three days. Play- Oh my god! Playable from April 21st, 2025. We just got a fucking release date. We just got a release date for Sea of the Wolves. Early access... So April 21st, so it comes out on what? 22nd, 23rd, 24th? We just got a fucking release date. April. There we go. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I didn't even notice that there was a release date on that trailer. Am I crazy? I, I didn't even fucking see. All right. Here we go. How did I not notice there was a fucking release date? Am I stupid? My brain melted as well, don't worry. I was just, I was like... That shit just hit me like a truck, like suddenly, okay, you gotta go into react mode, streamer. Monument Valley 3 drops exclusively I knew there'd be City of the Wolves, I knew they'd show it. December 10th, 2024. Now, first released in 1991, Civilization is one of the gaming industry's biggest What was my stage? I didn't recognize and it. Here at Gamescom, we are revealing the gameplay of Civilization 7 for the first time. To tell us more, please welcome Ed Beach from Firaxis Games. Thank you, Shox. Thank you, Gamescom. It's hard to believe that it's been almost eight years since Firaxis released our last Civilization game. So we're incredibly honored to be here tonight at Gamescom talking about Civilization 7. Official tr oh, it's Civ up. Let's watch seven. it. Does anyone care about Civilization? Let's just watch my trailer. Civ 7 is by far the They posted a whole different trailer. Let's see what they've got. Hang on. Okay, so there's, there's two trailers. There's two trailers. What the fuck? Okay, let's watch my first. The true queen of fighters. Of she looks like how she, you know how she looks exactly like she did in Dead or Alive. Her face. She's got a real belt two theme, bro. That's my favorite, my theme. In fact, the only one I like ever. Is this like South Town Beach? This is like South Town Beach, bro. This is like Sound Beach right here. It is! It's it's the hippo village thing from Real Bout 1! For, oh my god, bro! Oh, it's Sound Beach, baby! Let's go. Dude, it's the fucking hippo! Holy, this is Sound Beach. My headache is fucking killing me, bro. Feel the of the oh boy. There's ads? Oh my god, what a bad time. Do we have no renders here? They're good. I want this game. Why has he got a real belt hat? That's never been a thing. That's strange. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. And this is very much... Just his K with 15 design. I guess they wouldn't redesign it. Are those ads gone yet? Yeah, JC, it's just me and you, bro. It's just you and me. Let me know let me know when you guys are out of the ad hell. Hang on, are we are we in yeah, we're in 4K. Yeah, it's pretty like this cool 
pattern on the back of her jacket. It's nice having Prime, yeah. <laughs> Does Maya have any new stuff? It's a pretty cool, I mean, like, with a biker Mai, but it's still got a bit of that Japanese thing going on. She looks good. The only thing I would do is I would have changed her hair. That would have sealed the deal for me, but it's, it's, it's still a pretty cool design. A lot of people wanted her to go in, like, the biker direction because of her love for, like, heavy metal. Oh, the silhouettes are just like random. They're like the same ones they used. They're the exact ones they used for KOF 15. They're just random silhouettes. Alright, let's see what other... That other trailer they showed. Just an official trailer. Is there anything cool in here? An epic tale of wars who hunger for battle. Okay. South Town. Hey! A city of wild ambition. A city where legends are made. Is Geese Howard speaking right now? Here. Vengeful wolves fought against fate and won. Okay! Hell yeah. But fate has no finale. Now, 25 years later, are you ready to rock the city once more? <laughs> Dude, this is sick. The action kicks off with 22 characters. 22 characters! Familiar faces and new blood. Plus, five DLC fighters in Season Pass 1. Five DLC! Get fucked, Street Fighter and Tekken! We got five, baby! You can use from the moment the 22 rolls. base roster. Lock it in, guys. We got 22. Oh, how many did we have? What, like, 11 announced right now? We got tw we got we're already halfway done with the fucking roster. The base roster, and we got five DLC confirmed. Classic series mechanics are back in full force. And then some. Perform flashy combos at the push of a button. We're hearing more of the uh, the main theme. Ski. When you're ready to take on the world, jump online with crossplay and roll back net. Crossplay and roll back, you can baby. Skills against auto-generated AI clones. Generated AI clones. Strive hey! Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. RPG mode. Hang on. Level up your fighter, equip skills, and dominate the opposition on whoa, your way whoa, to the whoa, top. Whoa, 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 okay. It's single player stuff. Customize characters your way with color edit, outfits, gear. Whoa, patterns, we have a full color edit. That is so cool. Jukebox, baby. Songs in the jukebox. Create playlists. Yeah. Oh, we got our fighting in the fucking jukebox as well. Customize background music too. Sick. Sick. Fates intertwine on the streets of Southtown in the struggle for Geese's legacy. Rev it up. Your legend begins now. Yes, bro, this game. I need this game. Coming April 24th, 2025. Let's get it. Order now. Available as a special edition bundle featuring the base game Whoa. and season pass one. Pre-ordered your copy for a bonus. We're catching up to KOF 13 with this one. We have a color edit mode. Okay, access. hang on. I don't even know what the fuck Gamescom is. Sorry, this is the SNK Classic stream. Series mechanics are back in full force, and then some. Hang on, what is this shit? EOS episodes of South Town. Okay, okay. So this is not an arcade. This is not an arcade mode, dude. Look at the Lillian Knights. We even got Lau! We got Lau, bro! Look at Rock just sitting there. To South Town. Ch character selection showcase minigames. So it's like a, like a, it is like an Strive RPG mode, alright. Dude, f considering what they could have done, this All is actually- this RPG sounds pretty cool. Mode e -O -S -T. Level up your fighter, equip skills, and dominate the opposition on your way to the top. Alright, that's interesting. Customize T. Hang on, what do they call it? In an all new RPG mode, EOS. An RPG mode. Level up your fighter, equip skills, and dominate the opposition on your way to the top. But they look like random goons. So I don't think it's a character creator. With color edit, outfits, gear, patterns, and more. character edit. Groove to your I mean, color edit. Dude, song. this is like the only. Actually, I can't say that because I don't know. This is the only modern fighting game that I give a shit about that has a fucking color edit. I guess Tekken has it, but yeah. Uh... Does Tekken have it? You can edit the colors of the, um... Can you cut- can you edit the colors of a, um... 
existing, like the default clothes in Tekken 8. I don't know if we can, I never tried it. Songs in the jukebox. Create playlists and customize background music. Dude, there's more scrollers. We've got Art of Fighting 3. What else is down there? Ooh. Fates intertwine oh, man. on the streets of Southtown in the struggle for Geese's legacy. Rev it up. Your legend begins now. Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. Coming yeah, that's Tekken Summer. <laughs> okay, but it's still cool. That now. Fucking Fatal Available Fury has color as a special it. edition bundle featuring the base game and season pass one. Pre order your copy for a bonus Fatal Fury 2 Terry DLC costume and three days of early access. I really hope it's not just Terry and Mai that have the alt costumes. Please give that shit to everyone. He's screaming, Joe. Vengeful wolves fought against fate and won. That's so, so cool. But fate has no finale. It's epic as fuck. <laughs> 25 years later. Are you ready to rock the city once more? Oh, dude, my head is killing me, but I'm excited. The action kicks off with 22 characters, a mix of 17 familiar faces and new blood, plus five Just DLC came a bit scared. Yeah, but like, they're trying a bit harder with this game. System, a special 22 characters, okay, so, hang on. Another website. Sorry, this is probably not going to show up very well. They got my on the website yet? Doop -doop -doop -doop. Check it. Okay, so they don't have my on here. This is ten. My is eleven. Dude, there's there's eleven characters left. So okay, let's do some math. So how many Mark of the Wolves veterans are left? You got the two Kims, Hoku Tomaru, Freeman, and Kane, right? Is that it? That's only f that's only five, isn't it? There's uh, there's Grant, but he's not going to be in because he's replaced with Vox. Am I missing anyone? So there's only five Mark of the Wolves characters to come back. Andy and Joe. Andy and Joe are back on the, back on the table, baby. I was scared. Freeman. I said Freeman, didn't I? Yeah, two Kims, Hog Tomorrow, Freeman, Kane. I doubt Kim will be in it because there's his kids. So we've got 11 characters plus five. That's 16. There's still fucking... Dude, this is a good base roster. Who's going to be left? We have more space than I expected. Then again, I I think in my I think I gave twenty two, or maybe twenty three or twenty four. It might have been in, in my wish list video. Wow, that's a bigger. What did Street Fighter come with? Eighteen. Decent. So how many characters do we have left after 60? It, I'm so bad at maths, but it seems like after, if we get those five Mark those characters, we'll have 16. No, 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 17. Oh, fucking hell, I can't do mental maths right now. And when I'm, my head is pounding and I'm in a hype coma. Long and short of it, we have a handful of classic Fatal Fury characters back on the table. Oh, Gato, fuck. You're right, so that's six. So that's 17. So that's, that what leaves us 5 if it's 22. You think we'll get any AOF? Probably Rio. I didn't miss anyone else from Marcos, did I? There's five characters. There's five. Okay, I've done the maths. I finalized the maths. It's five characters after getting the missing Mark of the Wolves ones. So, let's say Andy and Joe, Mary, 
And then who knows? Who knows who else? Wow. I'd like Rio. What if we get Duck King? Maybe they'll be... Oh, but they might do Gasso's dad. Or they might do, like, another... Like, Marie Heinlein. Or Heinlein, whatever. Dude, that that is pretty sick. Spread the Wings is now following. Thanks, bro. Wow. Dude, I was... I, wow. I mean, I, I expected... You know, I, I thought... It, I thought 22 was being generous. So the fact they were actually... I thought 21 would be generous. So 22? That's decent as shit, man. There's probably... One, I think there's one or two new characters coming in. Definitely. And then six marketable characters to come. So hopefully at minimum we get Andy and Joe. And maybe we get Mary. But I mean, I would like some... Some like really... Obsc well, not really obscure, but like some of the lesser known Fatal Furies in the base roster. At least Duck King. I think Duck King would be a really good shout for base roster. Yeah, I was hoping... I was. I thought there'd be two characters as well, but I guess not. But hey... Mai's a big deal. She basically, I mean, she basically counts as two characters with her tits anyway, right? If anyone else got revealed with Mai, they would just get hopelessly overshadowed. <sighs> what's what's Keely doing? We missed anything? Doesn't fucking look like it. Nope. I mean, I might as well stop streaming. Even if there's something cool left? I don't know. Is it? Are they gonna show anything else cool with this thing? I doubt it. The reveal just now was pretty cool. What are they sure? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Game's gone pretty much ended for me. Secret South level. Town, a city of yeah, Gamescom has basically ended now that they've shown the two things I would've given a shit about. So, just check out the, um, my trailer again, why not? Oh, do I have videos to do? Do I have videos to do? Want a little taste of shit on I'm very convinced they based her face off how she looks in Dead or Alive. She looks exactly like how she looked in that game. Hippopo Village. That was like a, um... This is one of the story mode screenshots. It's got the same style, I just realized that. We've got like comic book effects. This is how the cutscenes are gonna be. Pretty cool. And who knows how that story mode is actually gonna shape up, but uh... I'm, I'm intrigued, to say the least. At the very least, even if it's not something I really care about, at least it's something more than just a fucking arcade ladder, which I really thought it would be. After that interview they gave, this is a good result. Terry with his hat. This is literally the exact same pose he, he does in the fucking KOF 15 thing. <laughs> but he's got a better face here. Should we watch the Terry gameplay trailer again? <laughs> it's so weird going from between the two Terrys, bro. <laughs> you got like cartoon anime Terry and then fucking extreme realism Terry. Should we see if there's anything in the Japanese trailers, like, different? I knew they were going to show Mai eventually. At every press release thing, I was like, they're going to show Mai this one, and then the one time I'm like, they're not going to- I gave up. They're not going to show Mai. Then they fucking show her, of course. I love this my theme. I'm so happy it's back. Steel 
Okay, it was basically the same thing. And what about this? I'm assuming it's also the exact same thing. It's slightly short, it's two, it's two seconds shorter though. So maybe there's something to glean for here. Ugh. I honestly don't know if there's any point watching the rest of Gamescom. It's not like they're going to show Resident Evil or something, right? I love the start of the theme song, it sounds sick. Kinda sounds like Kane? Maybe it was Kane. I, I was getting more Geese vibes, at least from the English trailer. Have I really only been live two hours? It feels like I've been live for like fucking four. Oh, it has a different theme song. Or does it? Okay, no, never mind, I don't think it does. I, th I thought for a second those were Japanese lyrics. ゲームで Oh man. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, yeah, it was the exact same thing. Wow. Yeah, I wonder if there would be skin color edits as well. Alright, back to Jeff. Have we missed anything? We're just in time to see an anime game, guys. What is this Guilty Gear ass music? Ugh. How much longer does this have to go on? Like, if it's almost over, I'll, I'll hop off, but... If this still has like an hour, I'm done, bro. I'm supposed to go gym tonight, but I have such a headache and I have work at 5 in the morning, bro. So I would rather not, if this is going to go on for ages still. I need to get my Terry reaction up, get those views. It's important. One black and one white. Wow, so powerful. The head. Almost equal to General Bei Shao. General Bei Shao? I know her well. You do? I know all her deeds on the battlefield. I think the base roster is actually 17 and 5 for DLC. No, you can't say that. That's betrayal. Fought her way in and out of enemy ranks seven times with a single strike. They can't hype me up for 22 and then fuck me. Can you send me that tweet? A thousand. No, ten thousand. You're exaggerating. This is what my online friends found at the scene. Look! In the form of a beast rushing forward like lightning, General Fei Shao shouted among the ruins! Are you my master? That's complete nonsense. Not you got that tweet? Even more impressive stories. <laughs> Little girl, do you know how to get to the seat of divine force? Oh, you bastards! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no. Fuck! 
You liars! They lied! That is shitty wording. That is some bullshit wording. They made it seem like the base rust had 22. Those bastards! Oh, fuck! Okay, now we're heading to the Arkhamverse for Batman Arkham Shadow. Why would they word it like that? That makes it so- Dude! A completely new Arkham story you can't lie! To Meta Quest 3. I've you cannot lie! This, and I have to say the they made it seem like the base roster would have 22! Oh my god. And here oh my is god. First look at the actual game yeah, Joe and Andy and Mary, Batman not in. So hang, hang on, hang on. 17, right? So 17 in base. We've just got an 11 with my. Yeah. Wow, okay, so- we are only getting Mark Lewis characters for base roster. Fuck! We were winning! We were fucking winning! We just lost! We flew too close to the sun. I have to stop it. Even if it consumes. So we've got 11 of my Kane, 12. Uh Coke tomorrow is in. That's 13. Gatto definitely. 14. Kim Twins. 15, 16. And then Freeman? It's only Mark of the Woods left. I say we sacrifice the Kim brothers. I say we uh, sacrifice... <clears throat> Sorry, what? How in the hell do we find him? Targets are all city employees. Damn it, bro. Public officials. You could more than a symbol. Andy and Joe on in, bro. <laughs> I thought we just won. I thought we just caught confirmation the other day. I mean, ah. Uh... We tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Fuck. We're launching with less than Street Fighter 6. We were so cocky. We just got so cocky. We were Freeman is iconic? No, he's stupid. Our fears. Why did we bring back Kevin? Was it really that essential we needed Kevin for base? Ah, oh, fuck, 17? We can't even beat Street Fighter 6? Grim. Grim. I can bring the rat. I guess, yeah, I mean, if they, if they really revitalized Andy and Joe, like, something disappointing about the the returning characters is, like, Terry is, like, whatever, because he's he was already in Mark the Wolves, but, like, Billy and Maya play very traditionally. Like, there is nothing really new there, which is kind of disappointing. I, I kind of wanted them to iterate on the movesets a bit. If, if they, if they, if they, like, uh, brought back Andy and Joe, and they had, like, new moves and, like, were really cool, then yeah, that could drum up some DLC hype. But man, I wanted them in the base game. This game has four female characters. <laughs> this game is not... I mean, that's why they had to make Jenny, Jenny's tits so big. To try and bolster that. The first Gamescom LATAM took place in June and exceeded all of our expectations with over 100,000 fans immersed in the gaming universe. It was a fantastic show and next- I mean to get all of SF6's concert for year one, you need to spend like $19. Is that including Outfit 3? Gamescom Asia returns this October. You can join in on the- Oh, right. I see what you mean. The deluxe edition- Wait. I should probably actually pay attention to what they're saying. Okay, so- Okay, that's pretty cool. So you get base game and season pass one. You know what this reads like though? Who is ready for another world premiere? This this sounds like uh five characters that were supposed to be in the base game or would have been in the base game but are being held hostage by DLC. That's just what it sounds like to me. That's just what that sounds like. Don't care. But all of that for just 60 bucks is not bad, but oh man. Wasn't SF6 doing that too? I don't even know. I, I didn't pay for SF6, so. Oh I mean, yeah, every fighting game is doing it. It's just kind of lame that it's a thing. Everyone's jumping on. I mean, I mean, tch, fucking K with 15 basically that they announced two DLC teams before the game was even out. It depends how long they take to come out. SNK is pretty quick for DLC releases compared to like fucking 
Tekken and a Street Fighter at least. These five characters should be dropping pretty quickly, pretty consecutively, but... Eh. Gamescom, can you end? If I, if I turn off stream, they'll suddenly show like fucking Resident Evil 9. I'll be like, fuck. How long has this been going on? I guess it's only been like an hour. An hour and a half. Bring back Kyle. Does anyone remember Kyle? When he said power dunk. Does anyone remember that? I hope they reveal them all at once. That'd be pretty cool. But SK loves its silhouettes, bro. It's like Capcom used to. Please wrap it up. Hit the two hour mark, this is usually where I would stop streaming. can't get rid of. I miss my mods. I need my mods back. Who wants mod? Jason, you want to be mod? I might as well mod Jason. It's done. He's still here. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you mod when I game. am able to. From Panic and Okamotive, and I'm so glad we could share that with you tonight. All right, Gamescom, we have a special guest joining us next. I grew up playing his games, and many of you did too. I don't know how to do it, so I'll do it after stream, and then you will be mod. If I remember. Black and white and fable. And tonight he's here to reveal his brand new game, which he's secretly been working on for the past three years. Please join me, Gamescom, in welcoming to ONL Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux? What a piece of shit. They uploaded mine. She's lagging, bro. Wow. The page lag. He's back. <laughs> What an incredible honor it is to Come be on. here on the stage with Jeff. What is wrong with this Peter page? <laughs> what is happening? What happened to a page? I fuck it up. In London, I was like, what are you working on? You're like, well, I've actually been working on a game for a number of years. You've kept very quiet about it. Yep. You really wanted to, like, the game speak for itself. But tell us about... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sokaku Mochizuki? After messing around on mobile... Wait, what? What the hell was I doing? Following an important tip-off from dutiful monk Sokaku Mochizuki? What do you mean? That makes it sound like they're friends. Huh? I can't get the my render to show up. Wait, what do you mean Sokaku is... Your credit, you've is, is he exist? Yourself. You put together a team of a lot of veterans yeah. from those games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my first realization is I needed to bring the huh. other team back together again. So I'm working with people like Mark Healy and Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped oh, Peter Molyneux. and created Black and White Dungeon Keeper and Fable. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a look at Masters of Albion. All right, here's the world premiere, Masters of Albion, from Peter Molyneux. This is Masters of Albion. We're a team of 20 people dedicated to making something new, unique, and different. Here we are in the familiar, vast world of Albion, packed with stories, Can we stop? Quests, treasures, and monsters. I have work to do. I have reaction videos to upload. This is Oak Ridge. Oh, Today, God. Today, you're tasked with building the town up, gaining resources, and earning money. Oh, fuck's sake. By night, your town will be attacked by many of our... Jeff, enemies. stop. Free me. Let me go. You can design anything. Let me be free! The people eat, the clothes they wear, the weapons they use, the armor they fight with. I guess I'm skipping gym there tonight. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Every creation. 
I can even feed them rats. My town's working hard to make that food. I can help out. Or... Sandwich simulator. I can also design, customize, and create all buildings. Night is coming, the sun is going down, and now my town needs defending against the horrors of Albion. And this is my hero's time to shine. You don't have to play in god mode. At any point, you can possess a character and play in third person. My hero is now under my complete control, and now it's time to fight. Lucina? Lucina? Thanks for the follow. Every follow has been merry today. Okay, we survived the night. Now, let's design a better weapon for my hero. You can be as silly as you want, but bread swords just won't cut it. This is just a glimpse of Masters of Albion. An open world god game full of combat, choices, mystery, and story. It's available to- I just came out of the gym. Now. SNK fans, we dating! Now, now, forget eating, we dating. Management offers a reminder. We're all here to have fun. <laughs> I wish I went to the gym. I was gonna go after this, but it's running longer than I thought, and I'm knackered. And I have work in the morning. Squirt games. Guys, remember that joke? Man, it kind of sucks we only have 17 for base roster. Wrap it up, Jeff. I've been here before. In the fall. Yeah, it's okay, Cook. The only thing that sucks is that we thought Seat of the Wolves was getting 22 characters. It's only getting 17. That is weak, bro. I mean, I don't care personally because, you know, I like a smaller starting roster. Just so I can have time to try everyone out. But, like, having one less than Street Fighter VI... And it's SNK. I mean, that's not great. It, <laughs> everything else is sick. At least the single player mode looks good. Quality over quantity. Yeah, but let's let's have it right. A lot of this is uh, retooled stuff from fucking fifteen. Who do you think would get dropped from Gara to make room? It's looking pretty bad for the Kim twins at the moment and Freeman, Gato, Hulk, Tomorrow, and Kane are in. Unless they save, no, they'll definitely have Kane. I think the most likely. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're making room though. I think they have the roster. I think the rest of the roster is literally just Hoka Tomaru, Kane, Gato, Kim Twins, Freeman. Maybe they'll drop Freeman. It'd be weird to drop the Kim Twins. 
Maybe they'll smush them into one character somehow. That'd be weird. Or maybe they'll drop them both and just have Kim. Old man Kim. The wording they used is so shitty though. They should not have done that. The action kicks off with a total of 22 characters. 17 member roster of familiar faces in New Blood, plus 5 DLC. No, the action is kicking off with 17. It's not kicking off with 22 if you have to wait for five of them to come out. Bullshit. Access with the full release coming at the end of the year. Now, over the years, Blizzard has been a big part of game Jeff, does your show ever end? thrilled to welcome them back for the first time since 2019. I don't think... No, no, Kane is in the audio trailer, yeah. Kane, Gatto, and Hulk tomorrow are definitely 100% locks. Kim Twins and Freeman on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Gamescom. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us on behalf of Blizzard. This is such a I told you guys that Andy and Joe weren't making it in base roster. And everyone was like, no, nah, no, they're locked. They're in. Well, told you guys. very glad to have you guys back, and I know you got a, a big booth with Xbox, right? We do, yes, and come on by if you're here all week long. We're proud of it, um, but it's also a particularly big <gasps> Warcraft. We oh, have people are, and anniversaries. People are getting to play Terry in Street Fighter 6, and there's a fucking Shinkiro of his arcade mode, there's Shinkiro yeah, art, of, of him walking past it's Ken. Its global launch is, uh, is coming up very soon this month, right? Yes. It is, and we're just days away from the global launch. Of Holy War shit. Within. Um, August 26th, it's go time for that, and in two days, we'll actually open up early access for players, so we're psyched about it. Come, out, come on in and join. And I just want to say it's masterful work from the team. The World Soul Saga opens up such ambitious creative territory. Where did for this us, come from? Some of the most ambitious we've ever seen since WoW initially released 20 years ago. And we can't wait to embark on it and share it with players. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting that this month is time for that. But uh, I know this is, you said, there's so many Warcraft anniversary, Blizzard anniversaries, Warcraft anniversaries. How can players be a part of this? Yeah, there's a ton of ways we're going to be able to celebrate. So we definitely hope that you join us. There will be in-game events that commence in October. So there will be more details on that. But players will be able to earn really cool in-game rewards. And we'll be finding some creative ways to celebrate the history of Azeroth together. Um, and also be on the lookout for our very first Warcraft Direct, where the team will share more in the coming months on all the things going on for the Warcraft universe. Okay, well that's exciting. Um, now I was wondering about, you know, all the other Blizzard teams, are they going to get in and, and celebrate these anniversaries too? They are. There will be some nice surprises along the way, but I do want to shout out tonight the Overwatch 2 team. Okay. Um, they've been doing some amazing work to show their... So at the end of the day, of that Evo 22 teaser, 2022 teaser, that was the entire roster. It was the roster. Lame. ...of the very first new skin. It's Widowmaker. And she's embracing her allegiance for the Horde and still found the Twinrunner. So be on the lookout for more... It really is just Mark of the Wolves with two newcomers and... Billy and Mar. Uh, now let's move to another franchise eh. that is, is, has a, a big year, Diablo. Oh yes, all eyes on October 8th. Yes, um, we are super excited for the Vessel of Hatred and we're even more excited that here at Gamescom this week will be the chance to have the first ever live hands-on experience with our very new Spiritborn class. It's beautiful, it's awesome to play, and it's definitely a key part of what makes the Vessel of Hatred so special for us. All right, well, I understand you might have brought a little something special with you as well. Oh, for fuck's we sake, have, Jeff. Here's a look at our mercenary companions. So take a look on behalf of the Vessel of Hatred. Oh, Christ. How fucking long is this? Suffering. Desolation. Horror. This is the road we know in Sanctuary. However, some of us have taken a different path. Bow 
ruled by secrecy, ready to stand and fight for those who seek us out. My shield is your protection. There was a time we fought the vilest of sacrifice. Not ideal, but at least we have assured that the DLC is going to be returning characters plus Freeman. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have five DLC characters confirmed out the gate, but... Yeah. Considering the game is coming out in April. Like, end of April. There's only 17. I don't know, it just seems a little weak, to be honest. I think they know, and that's why they worded the fucking thing list. Like, they're out of... Oh, I don't know. It depends on how long those five come to take out. Take to come out, sorry. My brain is, like... Reduced to slush. I'm so bored of this shit. We got screenshots of the fucking that looks thingy for the sneak peek. of Terry and SF6. It's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson, game director of Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. Hello, Gamescom! The team and I are so proud that Diablo 4 is the type of game that has something for all gamers. And in Vessel of Hatred, it's no exception. We are hard at work at adding new ways to play. Good. And new ways God, to grow Jeff. Power, like mercenaries, ordinary people with extraordinary skills that you can hire to fight alongside you in your battle against hell. We're also adding the Kuros Undercity, an all-new multi-layered dungeon that gives you the control on the types of challenges you're going to see, as well as the rewards you may get. And we also have the Dark Citadel, our brand new co-op PVE dungeon that challenges everything Ugh. you know about combat and Diablo. There's nothing to even say. I know nothing about these types of games. We're talking about all of it right here at Gamescom. And so stay tuned if you want to see all the things that you're going to see. Yeah, I saw Capcom. I was just looking at those, actually. And I hope to see every single one. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get it up on stream. So thank you very much. Here we are. See you on the floor. Thanks, Brent. All right, now we're heading to the hardcore action role-playing world of the first Berserker Kazan. Set Here's the uh, Shinkiro with Ken. <laughs> Sick, bro. Taking 3D cell animation in a brutal world from Nexon. Coming to PC and console, let's witness the chaos that awaits. <laughs> Why does he have no neck here? <laughs> Look, she's drinking a Blue Mary. Can you see that? There's Joe. 100% Andy is on my stage when it comes up. What is this game? Look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. What is this? Oh, is this Street Fighter 6 or is this uh, CBS 3 right here? For years, I faced unrelenting fury. <laughs> Made countless sacrifices. I'm obligated to two main to main two fighting games, yeah, pretty much. I mean, luckily Terry's gonna come out quite a while before Seat of the Wars. Dude, calling this right now, uh, Mars ult in a Street Fighter 6, is her costume too, is gonna be a new Seat of the Wars design, 100%. Definitely. I need, I need a mod that changes his eyebrows to brown. They look so strange, being blonde. 
I love this. He's got a different animation where he pulls his hair back. For fuck's sake, I am giving this like five more minutes and then I'm turning off. Everything I've ever, I care about has been shown. I am completely disinterested in everything they're showing now. But I'm holding out hope there might be one final thing at the end. But there probably Your won't even be, so. The they even already showed Monster Hunter, which was like one of their big things. It's just that tiny chance they're going to end on it, like something I might actually give a shit about. Gonna upload your reaction soon? Yeah, the Terry thing, that will go up tonight, and then the Seat of the Wolves stuff will go up as soon as I can get it done. There's so much information to write about, it's gonna, it might take me, like, all of tomorrow. Definitely won't be up today. Play it day one with PC Game Pass. I've already got a little part of the. Uh, I, I scripted this in advance about all the other like gameplay trailers I've been showing, like the ones of the five characters from uh, that they showed of the initial reveal. And I'm glad I did that in advance because I have a shit ton of stuff to talk about now. Darker Mobile is now available for global free registration. Now from NetEase Games, this next trailer is a new life simulation game where players can travel among super-powered worlds to craft their island and engage with friends. Let's take a look. Oh, you know, I can't. I can't. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. No more. We're done. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're not going to show anything else good. I have to end it. I'm tired. I want to get my stuff up. <laughs> Unless you guys really want me to watch the rest of this. Make your voice known now. Otherwise, I am so bored of this. I cannot get through it. We good? Are we good? Are we all in agreement that I can fuck off? I don't think they're going to show anything else. Yeah, we good? Okay. Yeah. You guys have a good rest too. It's, ah, oh, just, ah. Oh. It's, it's been like 40 minutes since they showed, there's just been an hour since they showed my, which was the last thing I cared about. It's like, there's not going to be anything else. So I'll see you guys, and I'm going to get that Terry reaction up ASAP. So, take care.